Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The travel aisle. Okay, this is good. So I think it's very important that we plan where we're gonna hit first. Oh, I'm gonna miss them so much. Oh my gosh, my neck is twisted for life. I'm so glad the night is over. I look ridiculous. Good morning. I have Pilates in 20 minutes, so I need to rip these curls out. And if they don't look good, I'm gonna flip. Oh my gosh. I will never use this thing in my life again. The outfit is so slay. And then there's my hair. Okay, I see some people that will shake it out. We gotta go, babe. We're so late. Let's go to Pilates. Come on. Pilates is done. I feel humiliated. When I would lay down on the reformer, the back of my hair would like scrunch up and I looked crazy. Look at these like ringletty ass. What the f Now that we're done with the stress, let's prep for our amazing, amazing van life trip that's coming. I have done extensive research and I think I'm very prepared for it. No, I'm not. That's why I'm filming this video because we have to prep for it. Let's go home. I need coffee. Just kidding, I need gas. My car keeps going like low fuel, low fuel, low fuel. <laughs> Just girl things. Plan. I literally just came up with an outfit in my head and I think it's gonna look good. Hi, stinky, stinky. You have to say hi. Say hi. This is my entire life plan here. This green shirt, like the greens are so similar. You can only really tell if you really look. Okay, I think it was one of those situations where I might have thought it looked better in my head. It's cute, but like the greens are visibly different. The greens are so similar, you can only really tell if you really look. You know what, it's okay because if I went to Pilates with hair looking like this this morning, I can honestly get away with any other embarrassment. While I make my bed, let me explain to you what the first thing we're doing is. There has been one camera that I've been wanting to get for the past literal year, but I cannot get myself to do it because it is so much money. So I just have not done it. I told myself that if I just actually pushed myself to do this entire van trip that I deserved to purchase the camera. Since I booked everything and I'm actually going to commit to going on this trip, now I'm able to purchase the camera. So we're gonna go pick up my camera and I'm so excited. It's like a super dream of mine and this is going to help elevate the van life vlog. I'm just trying to convince myself why I spent four grand on a camera. <laughs> We're listening to The weekend. our whole drive, all right? Y'all are not ready for this. I feel like if I don't just like talk to myself for the entire hour, I'll lose my mind, you know what I mean? Let's go. But I don't wanna feed this. so much i appreciate it i got my camera but i'm so excited it's here this is crazy i've wanted this for so long now let's go to rei because i want to get some pots and pans and stuff because i don't think that the van comes equipped with like any of that stuff i need pots and pans and like mosquito repellent i feel fully prepared are you kidding me caffeine pots to prevent mosquito bites we're ready Let's go! I know this song word by word, bar by bar, bro. I would scream my heart out to this song. The hard part always seems to last forever. Sometimes I forget that we are together. We're pulling up to William Simona. I need to get a kettle because obviously, like when we're in this van, I need a way to get hot water. I'm gonna get a kettle. I saw this really, really cute one here. my car okay i swear i'll do it one day but that day is just simply not today or tomorrow or the next day or for two weeks for that matter because i'm gonna be gone what's the point of washing my car if i'm quite literally gonna be gone for so long like th there's just literally there's just no point oh my gosh i'm just trying to get a cute shot but look at this Aww. we've got everything honestly when i really think about it i don't 
really can imagine anything else that I'm missing. I think this is all of the shopping that I needed to do. I can't really take much because we're literally gonna be living in an entire van. I cannot wait one more minute. I have to really open this new camera. <gasps> All right, what is this? Oh my gosh, it comes with a charger. I mean, I guess for four grand, the least they could do is include a charger, you know? <gasps> what is this? A new camera. Why? We have three. I want a new one. Hater vibes! <laughs> this right here is an entire map of the United States. Pretty much, we are going to be heading out from Sacramento, California, and we have 10 full days to basically do whatever we want. So I think it's very important that we plan where we're gonna hit first, what we're trying to do, and what's the best way to accomplish everything. I'm gonna write down all the places that we really wanna go to. I know for sure we wanna go to Zion National Park, Moab, Bend, Oregon. Then there's these falls that I read about that are supposed to be really cute. Now we need to make sure that all of the things that we wanna do actually fit in the timeline that we have because 10 days might sound like a lot, but it might end up not being a lot when you actually have to like drive everywhere. What order are we gonna do to be able to make it back in 10 days? really hard to find campsites when you are doing van life. I guess you can't just pull up and park anywhere, which I didn't know that. So there's a few like apps and like websites that you can use to find camp spots. It kind of works like a little bit of a Airbnb vibe. But I'm not actually going to book anything in advance because I don't know where we're gonna be at what time. The next mission is to figure out how to use this gimbal here. I purchased this gimbal forever ago, like a few months ago, and it's just been laying around and I haven't actually gotten to using it. Let's figure this out so we can get some really cool shots on our whole adventure. A few moments later. Just kidding, I'm trying to figure out for the past literal 20 minutes why my camera like doesn't fit. Well, I'm actually missing a piece. There's a piece that's supposed to go here and I don't have it and I don't know where it is. Defeated. <laughs> This is what happens when you go on TikTok because I would have totally not thought about having oatmeal brown butter cookies at freaking night. Oh, I know these are gonna bust. The ultimate girl math is drinking kombucha to make yourself feel better about the fact that you're eating three cookies at 9 p.m. Oh my gosh, these cookies are so good. Wow. Good morning. I don't know why I feel so exhausted today. I think I'm just not eating well. So like, I don't have energy. You know, I literally had cookies for dinner. We have completely ran out of time. And also the fact that it's quite literally Easter tomorrow is very stressful because I have nothing for Easter. We need to move faster. We need, we need to go, go, go. Like there is no time to waste, okay? Also, there's a huge thunderstorm going on and it's so bad. So the rain, not in my favor. I'm just gonna wear a hoodie. Cozy vibes, please. It's too early for this. Let's go. Whenever it's raining, I have absolutely no sense of style. I don't have sense of style, period, but when it's raining, it's worse. So this is just what I came up with. Let's teleport to Target, come on. I don't think there's gonna be much Easter stuff left over because Easter's literally tomorrow. But we're gonna see. We're coming over to the little section. Jackpot. You know how much I could do with this? Genius. Now here for what we actually came for. The travel aisle. Okay, this is literally the exact thing I was looking for. Mouthwash. More equipment. Equipment is the number one thing when it comes to these travel videos. Stick. Check. This isn't even mine. Hello, here's the deal. I feel like I need to start putting together my outfits like now. I've been looking at the weather and it's gonna be a lot colder than I thought it was gonna be and I didn't think we were gonna have to prep for a winter band life, but apparently we are. I'm gonna take these two like puffery jackets. This puffy material hopefully will keep us nice and warm. And then it's giving spring. 
more items. Hoodie, crew neck, workout jacket, just because these three things we can for sure use. I am a packing cube fanatic. Some people argue that packing cubes are not the best way to travel, um, and I argue that they're wrong. It just makes you the most organized. All of my jackets, done. I'm gonna pack a lot of pajamas that are pretty long, and I would say on the thicker side, just because we know what the weather is gonna be, and I don't wanna freeze every single night. jeans, leggings, cargos, and sports bras. When it comes to outdoor trips, I always like to have a few pairs of leggings because you just never know what's gonna happen. You just want variety. I don't know where I'm gonna be and when I'm gonna be there, so I just wanna be prepared. All done. All my shirts. White bodysuit, long sleeve, workout long sleeve, crop top, green crop top, gray crop top, white full top, white short sleeve. Done. into one suitcase. Might not happen, might happen, who knows. Let's start loading everything in here. Ceiling fan blowing cold breeze on the body. We're gonna try to be very conservative with the shoes we take. I'm gonna take a nice chunky sneaker for any time I ever wanna go out. Working sandals in case I ever wanna go out in sandals. Rubber sandals if I'm at the beach. And of course, a hiking shoe. My battery is all charged. We're gonna go test out the camera. I wanna learn how to use this like really, really good. This is such a big setup. Let's go to the park so we can test out different techniques. Come on. Ah! I almost crashed. It is cold as hell. Thankfully, the rain went away. It's still kind of sprinkling. Let's get some shots over here. Let me know how you guys like it and if you can even tell the difference. Like maybe like 30 minutes trying to figure out all the settings and I think I got pretty good settings but like my brain is kind of hurting. Oh, you see that? That's the face of someone who's tired when it's not time to go to bed yet. That's what it is. So you know what that means? I need caffeine because we got a lot to go. We got to keep packing. It's open air what it is. Simming crunch. Oh. They're out of espresso so we are doing a cold brew, not a latte. I don't care what it is, just give me coffee. Time to do toiletries. This is something that I need to knock out of the way. Let's put my hair up. We're doing our body wash. Nice and filled up. Cleanser is next. This cleanser is my absolute favorite thing in the world. Like, oh, me after I eat dairy. Huh? Shampoo. Conditioner. I'm like pretty much out of my SPF, so we're gonna go get some with my esthetician tomorrow. Ooh. My brush is so big and very inconvenient to take, but I just love this brush so much, it's so good. Toothbrush, makeup wipes, self-explanatory, babe. Headbands are just a must. Tongue scraper, I feel so good. I feel like most of my stuff is literally packed. I just need to put it together in the suitcase, but we are pretty much on a good path. Uh. We leave in 12 hours. And we are not ready. Honestly, it just hit me this morning. Like I opened my eyes and I was like, Gunk. it's crazy because like you don't enjoy your bed fully till you know you're not gonna have it. So and literally I didn't get out of bed till 7.30. Coming downstairs. Ooh, it smells like eggies down here. Ah, smells yummy. It smells like I should be a husband. I need to pack lunch today and I have to leave in like two minutes. How fast can you help me make tuna? Super fast. Super fast? Honestly, this is what happens when you sleep in. We would have woke up at 6 a.m. We would be fine right now. Now we're like stressing to pack lunch. Yesterday was Easter and Jake literally was at his parents' house and just went to the kitchen just started packing lunch, bro. Bro, because whenever you go to parties and there's extra food, you know they don't even need the rest, so okay. might as well. We got the coffee machine heating up under you guys. We gotta do everything in like freaking five minutes. We have to get rid of all of our good groceries before we leave, so packing these lunches will for sure help. <gasps> we don't have corn, huh? Yeah. <gasps> no! Tuna with no corn? That's literally not even tuna. That's ridiculous. 
our first stop is gonna be a massage and I really want to get this out of the way just because when we're gonna be traveling we're gonna be going through like a bunch of different elevations and honestly that really swells me up so I need to make sure that I get all of my massages so that I feel good for the two weeks that I'm gonna be gone because yes I am still getting massages stop because that felt so good nothing like a good crisp massage next are you looking at these that is ridiculous the fact that my nails look like this at this day and age is ridiculous they're too long like you see that that means I'm gonna crack it on the hike and I don't know what kind of 4x4 terrain my hands need to be in let's chop these off <laughs> just finished my nails look at how much cuter i feel like i can actually go be adventurous now beautiful our next errand that we have to run is i need to go pick up some running shoes because this whole trip i think we're gonna be going like on a lot of hikes and stuff like that so i need running shoes i, I don't own a pair of running shoes like i own new balances and that's about it let's run in and get some running shoes shows that your arches are a little bit on the higher end and your right one's actually higher than the left one as well. Huh. <gasps> oh my gosh, these are so cute! Actually, I'm gonna do both. Is your camera okay? It should be. Damn near broke my camera, but I got the shoes. I actually got two pairs. Oh, hi! Dickie pulled up right in front of me. There's no way. Hello, Mike. Hi. He copied me. He also wants the rest of shoes. Nah, signed me up for a marathon, so I gotta do it. Bye-bye! I'm the call. All right, let's head out now. We got a facial appointment. My favorite kinds of appointments in the world. Oh, skin hydrated. I feel like at a thousand percent, I look a little crazy because every time after facials, you look just, you look red. I had extractions, exfoliations, all kinds of stuff, but I'm so happy. I'm about to leave on this freaking trip and I don't even have all of my clothes washed. You guys remember this little guy? We finally got the piece in. This right here, this is what I lost. And that's the reason why I couldn't use this little thingy here. Now it's actually time to learn how to use this big old thing. This is a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. This is my little hard shell case. This works because if you're able to put camera equipment, it's a little bit more like secure. Everything charging. These are my GoPro batteries. These are also GoPro batteries, but this is for my big one. Camera battery. Got my laptop charging. These are all of my drone batteries. They're charging. These two are already charged. This is the last one. But we're looking closer to the finish line. While those things finish charging up, I'm just gonna take the girls over to training. I wait to get that out of the way. Oh my goodness. Are you guys gonna leave? Are you gonna miss mommy? Look at this one. What the heck? What are you guys doing? Oh, I'm gonna miss them so much. I wish we could bring them, but there's just not enough space on the van. This is all of the farmer's dog. This is what they're gonna eat. And then I'm gonna throw in some snack sticks. <gasps> you guys are already home. Jake is gonna go drop off the girls at training. We have to go to Sephora. I have to go pick up some more stuff. That way we gotta, we gotta move faster. It's already 8 p.m. and I'm getting really tired. So sleepy. I ordered some cold brew packets. They just came in as well. This has been perfect timing, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, so much cold brew. We're gonna take a little mason jar so I can actually make my cold brew, my cold brew packet, of course. Matcha, in case I'm in a matcha mood, you know, I never know. The media stuff is packed. Loaded up to the car and we head out at 5 a.m. 4 a.m. 